welcome back to my channel today i have a monthly favorites for you it is the month of what month is it march because we're now in august no we're not what am i on today we are now in april i need to put holes in these i need thumb holes in this jumper this is all my favorite stuff that i got in march or that I've been using a lot in March. Um, so let's just crack on. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is my new piercing. It is my lip piercing just here. So I had like loads of piercings when I was a teenager and as I've gotten older or as I've become a mum, I've slowly taken my piercings out. There's been no real reason for taking them out. It's not that I disliked them or anything. It's mainly because I had to take them out for work and putting them in and out every day just got tedious. So I've just taken them out and I ended up just getting a bit bored of them. So I left them out. I know I've just had reconstructive surgery on my top lip to get my scars removed. My bottom lip scars don't seem to bother me as much. Like I've got quite big lips or a big bottom lip anyway. My bottom lip scars aren't as obvious as the top lip ones. I've got two scars here which are quite obvious, that, that are a bit obvious. The position I've had this in is you still can't see it if I take it out. And I've had it pierced with a lot smaller jewelry than all of these holes. So if I do decide to take it out, the hole will be minuscule. Like you'll hardly see it. But to be honest, it feels really good to be getting piercings back. I feel, I feel more myself. I'm gonna get the other side done whenever this side heals. I have a really big problem healing piercings. My body just does not like piercings, but so far, I am loving having piercings again. But let's move on to anxiety. No, anxiety is not my favorite thing of March. I suffer from anxiety. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. My, my problem is social anxiety. Like, I get really nervous. When I'm not a nervous person, I'm quite like, this is what I'm like once you get to know me. I'm very, I am funny as fuck when you get to know me. I'm really sarcastic. I'm like really bubbly and everything. But when you first meet me, um, or I'm in like a party or something and I'm really awkward. I, I don't know, I just need to overcome that. My friend suggested getting this Play-Doh stuff from Lush. It's got plastic over it because you've got to keep it fresh. Um, and me and Violet have used a few of the colors already. It does smell so good. I'm just gonna break a bit off and show you. And it, it, it's literally Play-Doh, but it's special Play-Doh that kind of dissolves in the water. So like, to help my anxiety a bit, when I have my shower before I go out, I, I like to sit in the shower and I'll sit down on the bottom and just let the water fall on my head and I'll just sit there and relax. And I've been playing with this. And I've just been sitting in the shower, like making things or just rolling it in my hand while I relax. And I found that it has de-stressed me quite a lot. It dissolves in the water, so it just eventually disappears. It smells so good and it helps relax me so much. And it's from Lush and I don't know what it's called. Rainbow. I've ripped the label. It's called Rainbow something. Uh, like I'm guessing like Rainbow Dough or something. I don't know. I, do you know what? I've, I just really, really like it. And it has helped my anxiety. You know, not crazy, crazy. I'm not like all of a sudden cured of it. But it's, I found it has helped me in a few situations where I've been like particularly nervous or meeting new people. And it just helps relax me before I go out. Pretty cheap, it's from Lush. It's cruelty free and do you know what? Oh, it leaves your hands smell so nice. You just slice off a color every time you have a shower, so that's quite cool. But I just find it really therapeutic. So next I have two Kat Von D products. First is the basket case eyeliner. I kept the box because I thought the box was really cute. I believe that a portion of this goes to a monkey charity. It is the Kat Von D Billy Joe Armstrong from Green Day Anti-Precision Liner. It's basically a fat eyeliner, but it's so good. It's just like, oh, I don't want to waste it because it was really expensive. And it smudges really well. It doesn't smudge with a, with a brush, I found. So I use my finger and I just put it on my eyelid and then like, smudge it in totally gives it a more grungy look okay it's not smudging on my hand but it does smudge <laughs> love big panda eyes i love black like really dark black eyeshadow and black black eyes it's really easy to use as well it's really soft and creamy it does glide on really well and i just i love it i mean it came out in like january and i only just got it because to be honest, I totally forgot that it came out. And then I saw a video on YouTube and I was like, oh, I need to go and get that. I got it from Debenhams in the UK. I don't know, because in the UK, like 
I think Debenhams is the only place that sells Kat Von D. It was a little bit expensive for an eyeliner. I use it for like special occasions. I don't use it every day simply because it's a lot of money, but I really, really like it. Next from Kat Von D, I love her foundation. Um, I'm So I thought I would try the concealer. I was a bit dubious because it's like 20 quid and like 20 quid for a concealer is, is a lot of money. I need a thick concealer to help hide my lip scars. They are still technically healing and they're just a tiny bit red. And also I'm a mum, I got bags under my eyes, I need a big concealer for that. So this is the Locket Concealer. Got it in shade L3 Warm, which suits my skin tone perfectly. It's got a heart shaped spongy wand. I only use the tiniest, tiniest bit. I do like one, because to hide my lip scars, I do one dot here, one dot here, and then I sponge them out. It's really, really thick and creamy. And I feel like this is gonna last a very, very long time. Especially if you only use little bits like I do. It does spread really, really well. This is from Debenhams too. Um, <sighs> Goths in summer, what do you do? I have been tr struggling so hard to find nice platform, because I like platform or platforms, they're called like where you have a chunky platform. And that's all I want. I know summer's not here yet, but for brands, this is where their summer stuff comes out. I ended up finding these in Primark. Oh, they're all, ooh. I haven't worn them yet because it's still like, it was snowing last week. They were 12 quid and they've got a nice chunky platform on, a nice ankle strap. They are like really soft suede. I had to get them in a size four. I'm usually a size four to five and I got them in a four and they fit really, really well. Got like squidginess in the, sole here and they do feel like they're going to be very comfortable. These will be my everyday shoes in summer. I'm considering buying some like spike studs and putting them across the overlapping strap. Um, let me know if I should because I quite like them plain because I feel like they'll go with more but I like the idea of having like silver spikes. The more I look at them, the more I'm like, yeah, I think I'm going to put spikes on them. I'm ready for summer now. Are you guys like I'm kind of bored of the cold. I've only got like one thick coat and I wear that every single day and I'm just like, I feel like I look the same every day. Oh, just fired. Um, if you know me quite well, you'll know that I am a huge Simpsons fan. I have a tattoo of Lisa Simpson as the Lizard Queen on my leg and I have Ralph. Ralph is one of my favorites. I have Ralph with an ice cream on my arm. I came across a store on Etsy called The Sim pins i keep pronouncing it wrong sim pins and one of my managers from work left to go to singapore and i wanted to get him a present to just to remember me but it had to be something small that he could take with him i found this pin of barney with hairy legs and he's dressed as marge so he's got the blue hair and we always make simpsons jokes with each other like, he'll like walk past me at work and be singing, see my vest, see my vest. And everyone else will be like, what? And then I'll be like, made from real gorilla chest. <laughs> and it's, oh, I love it so much. So I got him a Barney pin dressed as Marge with blue hair and hairy legs. It's me in a nutshell. He, he's now gone, he's gone to Singapore and you know, I'm missing him. I love these pins. I wanted some for myself. I have got the Barney one, but dressed as a ninja, like he's so camouflaged, you can't really see him there. Barney again as Krusty the Clown. I also got Barney as Homer, which I'm gonna put on a jacket of mine. And I'm a Star Wars. Love Ralph so much. These are freaking awesome. Like I'm really getting back into my pins. I had a pin jacket that um, I tend to wear in summer, so I haven't really been wearing it in winter. And I'm trying to get loads of pins to put back on it and can't resist the Simpsons. I freaking love Simpsons. They all come on these really cool like cards as well. So they're all like proper themed. They make great gifts. I mean, I got it from my manager as like a little leaving present and like, they're so adorable. And they are so cheap as well. And if you're local to Ipswich, which is where I live, they are from Kesgrave. So it's even better to help out like local businesses too. So definitely check those bad boys out. So my next thing, is oh my god i've been looking for this so i haven't used this bag yet either because i already have a backpack very much a one bag at a time lady so the backpack i'm using at the minute is by ban i'm just waiting for that to break or to get a hole in it or something before i use this one 
I don't know, I'm weird like that. Just, you know, one bag at a time. Anyway, <laughs> um, Ben got me this bag for Mother's Day and it's from Killstar. And it is a backpack. I'm really into my backpacks at the moment. And it's got a pentagram on the front. And it's got this really nice clip as well. Cause I, my, my backpack at the minute only does that by a popper. And it really bothers me um, like how easy it is to, to probably mug me. It's quite big, but it's not too big. Um, I love this detail. It's got lots of pockets on it too. It's got a nice big pocket at the front and pockets at the side. I have specific things I put in the, my side pockets. I usually put my headphones in them, um, a lipstick in the other side. And then inside, it's really big. I feel like if you go to school or you go to college, this bag would be perfect. It feels really well made as well. It's made of velvet, faux leather straps with buckles on. So even though I haven't used it yet, I'm still including it in my March favorites because I really, I really love it. But I'm just a weirdo and I only use one bag at a time. Last but not least, this has been a lifesaver for me. I've been using this for actually like months and months and I've forgotten to always include this in videos and I thought, oh, I'm finally gonna include it. So this is the Lee Stafford Argan Oil from Morocco Deep Nourishing Treatment and it's a leave-in conditioner. So I shampoo and condition my hair and then I will plop a dollop of this on and leave it for a couple of minutes and then wash it off. It's nearly all gone because I use it every time I shower. I get it from Boots. This is about 13 pound a tub, but they're usually on three for two. That's when I buy it. I only ever buy it when it's on the deal. I use it every time I wash my hair simply because my hair gets very dry um, and it helps keep my hair feeling and looking its best. If your hair isn't as damaged, then like once a week, I'm guessing like once a week would be absolutely fine. And obviously it would last you a hell of a lot longer. I am bleaching my hair soon to get my blue out. Um, I'm trying to wash out as much as I can, but I, and I know ultimately it's gonna have to come down to me bleaching it a tiny bit. This stuff, especially after bleaching, so so good that's it that's all my march favorites i got some pretty nice stuff um the makeup i really recommend and this good thank you so much for watching my march favorites i can't believe we're already in april you know what that means boys and girls it's almost halloween i'm gonna shoot off because i need a poo i will see you guys very very soon with another video thank you guys so much for being here much love and stay weird